Last week, the U.S. House of Representatives passed H.R. 6492, the Expanding Public Lands Outdoor Recreation Experiences Act, or what's being called the Explore Act. The bill had 51 bipartisan co-sponsors, which is why I'm doing this video. 27 Democrats and 24 Republicans. Now, the bill was approved in a voice vote, which is pretty rare nowadays, because a voice vote is done when Congress is working together across party lines for a common cause. Huh. Now, the Explore Act must be approved, obviously, by the U.S. Senate before it can be considered by Joe Biden. But it's what's in this bill that is very, very interesting. Guys, my name is Jared, this is Guns and Gadgets, and on this channel I bring you Second Amendment news no matter where it happens, good, bad, ugly, or indifferent. And if you want to stay in the know, all you have to do is hit that little subscribe button down below. That red button, it's free, doesn't cost you anything, just keeps you in the loop when it comes to the Second Amendment news here. Now, you've heard me talking about precious metals and telling you that experts were calling for record high gold. Well, now it's here and gold has broken through the $2,300 an ounce level. Will it stop there? I don't know, but I do know that these same experts are now calling for gold to reach $3,200 an ounce or higher. And silver is rising as well. I bought my gold and silver from Lear Capital last year, and today I'm up 21% on that purchase. It's pretty clear that the US dollar is losing value. Remember, the more money they print, the less your dollars are worth. Since 2020, every dollar in your wallet has lost 24% of its purchasing power. That's why I bought gold and silver. It holds value and can increase in value. Buy some gold and silver and store it in your gun safe. It's not too late. Call my friends at Lear Capital now. 1-800-260-5075 or go to leargg.com. Get their free information and ask if they still have that $3,200 gold report that I've been talking about. Give them a call today. It's 1-800-260-5075. Again, 1-800-260-5075 or head over to leargg.com. Thanks to Lear Capital for supporting this show. Now, the Explore Act is a huge, huge bill, but it includes the Range Access Act, which would increase and improve outdoor recreation op opportunities across the nation while improving infrastructure and driving economic growth in rural communities. That's the very first line of the bill. Now, the Range Access Act would require the U.S. Forest Service and the Bureau of Land Management, the BLM, to have at least one qualifying recreational shooting range in each national forest and in each BLM district. The Explore Act also contains other provisions to help improve hunting and recreational shooting access. Now, Larry Keene, the NSSF Senior Vice President and General Counsel, said this, This is a tremendous win for America's gun owners and recreational target shooters and demonstrates what can be achieved when Congress works together for common sense legislation that will improve access to safe firing ranges available to the public. We are thankful to Chairman Westerman for this bill to advance the interests of the American sportsmen and women and for Congressman Blake Moore for ensuring that accessible and safe ranges are open in the public lands for all to enjoy. So while the bill passed the House with bipartisan support, it is now in the hands of the U.S. Senate. They've actually had it for about seven or eight days now. Now thus far, Chuck Schumer has yet mentioned whether this bill is being viewed favorably or not by the Senate. If you want this bill to pass, it's time to bend the ear of your U.S. Senators. Mention to them that it did have bipartisan support in the House as well. If you're not sure how to call your Senators, first, here's the number, 202-224-3121. Also, be sure to watch the video floating above where I show you exactly how to contact your legislators. It is super easy to do. Many people are initially intimidated by it, but trust me, it is simple. Remember, they work for you. Don't be afraid to talk to your employees. Guys, I hope this bill maybe gets some uh, positive momentum here in the Senate because this could do good uh, to open up ranges in uh, the public lands, which I don't understand why the federal government owns public lands. It should be our land because the government doesn't even have an income. They just steal our money to do it. It's called taxes. 
Well, hope you like the uh, information. Let me know what you think down below, and I hope to see you on the next episode here on Guns and Gadgets. Subscribe to the channel if you want to stay in the know, like the video and share it so more people see it. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.